um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I go from like um, heat styled or blow dried straightened hair to like curly hair. Um, I have actually uh, blow dried my hair back to back two times the last couple of weeks and I don't know how my curls are gonna come back so this is me trying to do my best try to repair my hair from the damage that I've put it through because of heat. To start off my routine, I'm using this spread hair mask as a pre poo treatment in my hair. I usually use this mask as a conditioner during my regular wash days but since today I'm trying to get the most benefits out of this product I'm gonna be using it as a pre mask before my shampooing this is currently one of my favorite hair masks I love the way it smells my hair honestly feels very hydrated every time I use this product okay so I've sectioned off my hair right here and I'm gonna be starting off with the bottom heart, half of my hair. I'm using a, a spray bottle to wet my hair. And I'll be applying the mask. Make sure that your hair is like nicely saturated because you want to um, have like enough moisture you could also just like wet your hair under the tap that's totally fine i'm just doing this since i'm recording this video otherwise i usually just wet my hair under the tap just make sure that every single strand is properly coated with the product this is like the consistency i'm gonna be using about that much for this side of my hair i'm being generous i'm using a lot more than what I usually do and that's again because I want to make sure that I'm adding back as much moisture as I can possibly can back into the hair don't forget the ends I like to rake the product in I feel like this gives like the best results for me to rake the product okay and I'm gonna repeat the same step all over my scalp I'm working on the last section right now. I finished like applying it on the other um, part of my hair. And I'm not really applying this mask on the scalp. I'm more focusing on the ends, like starting off from here, cause I don't wanna apply it on the scalp and make it more oily. So I'm using about that much in the last section. Warming up the product and I have some excess on my hands that I'm gonna be distributing all throughout my scalp and I'm, I'm, I'm also gonna be leaving this mask in my hair for about um, 30 minutes or 40 minutes I'll go into the shower wash my hair and I'll come back here and show you guys what I do next to shampoo my hair I use the red hair wash uh, this is a very gentle milky hair cleanser this also just like the hair mask does an amazing job hydrating my hair and it never honestly strips away moisture from my hair like regular hair cleansers do I am honestly obsessed with this hair combo hey guys it's much later I got out of the shower I also quickly did my makeup here and I put it put my hair up using this microfiber towel my hair honestly feels so soft like really really soft i don't i feel like i sh i don't need any other product but i was definitely planning on doing the olaplex treatment in my hair so i am going to go in with the olaplex treatment now leave it in for another 30 minutes and then uh, rinse the uh, treatment out and I'm going to style it okay so my hair is still damp and you want your hair to be damp to go in with this product I'm now um, going to apply the Olaplex hair perfector number three this product is not a mask but it's more like a bond building treatment for your hair 
I usually use this treatment once every two weeks since I don't use a lot of heat or my hair is not color treated. I think it does a great job repairing any previous heat or color damaged hair and I also felt like it helped uh, with reducing breakage in my hair overall. So this is an amazing treatment to do um, if especially after blow drying or straightening your hair I think this is a perfect treatment to like get your hair back to like um, normal wetting my hair just a little bit not too much just about that much that's it and I'm gonna go in with the product again I know this is very time consuming but I personally feel like the results are definitely worth it taken and about taken and about taken and about that much product and again I'm only gonna work this product uh, in the ends of my hair not throughout the whole scalp I'm gonna be taking about this much section I'll divide it in two and I will just twist it this will help to train your curls better and um, honestly this is one of my favorite technique to get like the perfect looking curls um, and I feel like there's no other better time to do this when you're applying the Olaplex treatment so I'm gonna be repeating the same step throughout my hair. It is very time consuming. I completely understand that if you can't do this step, it's totally fine. You can just apply the treatment in and call it a day. One eternity later. Okay guys, I finished uh, twisting all the strands and applying the product evenly throughout my hair. I'm now going to put my hair up and leave it in there for about 30 minutes and i will come back and show you guys what products i use to style and we'll finish off this video hey you guys it's much 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 later right now i just finished um washing out the olaplex treatment from my hair and this is what i have you guys see those clumps i am loving this i have my hair up Starting off with the bottom section again for the third and final time. Um, I'm gonna be applying the Verb Curl Cream. This cream has a little hold in it and it also uh, works, does a really good job with giving me the definition. So I'm not gonna apply a lot about that much on this side. Again, I'm gonna be raking in the product. Make sure your hair is like wet to the point where you hear that scrunch. If you be listen carefully, you wanna hear that. We've already applied the cream. I'll go in with the brush once again. Comb it away. Let it fall down. I'm done applying the cream in my hair and I'm just um, finishing off by scrunching it gently. The last product I'm gonna use is this Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Sculpting Gel. This is my current favorite gel right now. It gives like the perfect amount of hold in my hair. I will apply it all over my palms, rub it around and I like to glaze and scrunch glaze and scrunch I'm gonna apply a little more about that much gel so we're gonna glaze and scrunch if you feel like your hair is a little dry you can go in with some more water I feel like this side of my hair doesn't have a lot of definition so I'm gonna spray some water in my hand and I will just 
use it to get more definition in my hair okay guys i finished applying the products um i'm gonna let my hair air dry now for at least 15 minutes before i go in with my blow dryer and during the air dry process i try to um like part my hair in different like directions just so like they're not laying flat by the time they're dry the lighting in this video is consistently getting worse and worse and that's because it's dark out now and um i'm gonna go in with blow drying my hair it's been about like 15 to 20 minutes and my hair is starting to uh dry up it's probably the best time for me to go in right now and blow dry it i'm using my revlon diffuser I, it has the attachment that came with the dryer i got it from i guess kroger uh it's been working perfectly fine for me so i want to share some tips i use when diffusing my hair so i first turn on my diffuser and i use this technique called howering where you pretty much hover around your entire head and the ends of your hair without really touching it or cupping your hair even though it looks like i am touching my hair right now try not to do that um, and just go around your entire head uh, in all directions just hover around your hair i usually just have my hair upside down and and i do this for at at a low speed and low heat for about five to seven minutes so this technique will give you will will reduce the amount of frizz in your hair and it also will help with setting the hair cast the whatever products you used prior to this it will help set the uh, products in your hair so you get better definition and it also really reduces the amount of frizz After I'm done hovering around my hair, I start cupping my hair in sections and one of my biggest tips is to, to actually turn off your diffuser before you bring your hair down and also try to only turn it on after you have your hair in your cup and your hair is up. Okay, this technique will also help you uh, help reduce the amount of frizz that could cause because of diffusing and also will give you less flyaways. And then I go ahead and do the same technique all over my head and I diffuse in like a million different directions um, until I feel like my hair is almost dry and I'm left with this. my hair is now completely dry if you feel like your hair is crunchy that's probably because of the gel that you applied so the best way to remove the crunch would be to scrunch your hair with um some hair oil i'm using the bread hair oil i've been using it recently i got the whole kit um i'm gonna link it down below it's probably one of the best like hair combos that i've um that i've used the only problem with this hair oil is the packaging i wish they had a pump or something for me to easily get the product out but i love the product so i'm still gonna continue using it i'll take about very little not too much about like three four drops of this in my palm really warm up the oil it smells amazing so now to scrunch off the crunch the only thing you have to do is scrunch it using a hair oil you'll see this step will give you a lot more volume and your uh, hair clump will st start to get more softer Uh, this is like my favorite step to add that extra gloss and really get the volume fluff my hair out a little bit from the scalp i'll be gentle not to break the clumps but shake your hair i'm using a pick here All right, did you guys see how much more volume I have now than before? This is just by 
fluffing my hair thank you guys so much for watching this video please comment down below and let me know if you like this video and let me know if you have any other questions um and any suggestions i would love to hear your feedback and yeah see you guys soon in my next video